Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So recently, on November 10 exactly, Skylum just released four more extensions at the same time. The AI Background Meanful, Upscale AI, Focus Stacking, and Super Sharp AI. And I'll cover each of these new extension, starting from the AI background removal. I'll show you the function of its extensions and how to use it. Of course, with a few samples as well, so you can tell if these new extensions will be useful for your work or not. And it will also help you to decide whether you want to purchase it or not. So in today's video, let's start from the AI background removal. So just like it's called, you can use AI background removal to remove any background of your photo. The AI can detect and show you the object in the photo, so we can choose which ones to keep and the AI will remove the rest. Okay, so let's try it. Okay, so without any further ado, let's jump into Luminar Neo and get started. Okay, so first to install the extension, click on the puzzle icon on top right here. And just click the install button. Okay, all of the extensions are pet extensions, so you need to purchase it first to be able to use it. After you have installed it, you can custom this tab. And right here, I have prepared some samples that I download from Unsplash. If you want to download it as well, you know where to go, just click on the link in the description. Okay, so let's start from something simple. Okay, how about this one? The object, as you can see, is uh, not so complex and the background as well. Okay, so AI background removal is located inside layer properties tab. Just click on it and then go to masking and you will see background remove AI done here. So just click on it and the AI will detect and will show you the object in the photo. So you can choose which one to keep and which one to delete. Okay, after it has done, it will select the main object automatically. As you can see, I cannot just select it. And after that, you can select uh, the sky as well if you want or the mountains. Okay, or if you want to remove all of it, you can do it as well. Okay, but I'll keep the natural ground. Okay, after that, just click remove and the AI will do all of the job removing the background. And it did select some area of the mountains as well. Okay, but that's okay, we can fix that later. Okay, so this is the result and I would say it did remove 95% of the background as you can see with only one click. But we need to fix some area in this photo, so don't worry about it, you can fix it. Just go to refine and brush right here and you can see three brush options. Transition is the transparent area right here and then this orange color is the object and the blue color is the background okay so i will select the background which i just remove and fix this area okay then i'll select the object brush and fix this area after that just close down this refinement brush tab and let's zoom in to see how it does yeah, uh, it did remove the area around the hair, which is more complex perfectly, as you can see. So now you can add a new layer for the background. So uh, let's add something simple from my images that I just import. And I will align it here like this. Okay, after that, I can bring up the opacity and put it below the object layer and then okay, it did slip some something from the background let's see whether i can as you can see i just fix it it's done as you can see so this is the before and after okay so let's try another photo that is more complex okay how about this one Let's try animal photo because it has a lot of fear around the body. So I think it's more complex. And let's see how it does. Okay, for this one, I'll just select the main object and click remove. Okay, well, let's zoom in. I think it was better than the previous photo. Okay, it did leave some background around the edges, but it did a pretty good job. And it, as you can see, it removed about 95% to 99% of the background. Okay, so let's try something else. 
Oh, how about this one? Yeah, when I look at it, it is more complex because the object was moving. And let's see if the background remove AI will remove the background inside the tire or not. Okay, so let's apply it and see how it does. Okay, and I'll click remove so we can see the result more clearly. Well, it did leave some background inside the tire as you can see and it removed some of the motorcycle right here so yeah but it was pretty smooth around the object okay so yeah that was pretty good and next let's try some group photo and see will it remove more than one human or not okay how about this one Well, it did select the four people in this photo. Well, uh, it was pretty precise, I would say. It just needs some fixing around here. Okay, let's try one more. How about this one? For this happy family. Well, it was pretty good. Yeah, just need some fixing around here. And yeah, I think it removed around 95 to 99% of the background and it does a pretty good and precise job as you can see. Okay, so that was the power of the AI background removal. And as you can see, it does a pretty good job. Okay, and if you are interested to get this extension spec, you can click on the link in the description to get a discount and to support this channel. Okay, so make sure you use the link in the description. I would really appreciate it. And okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.